Well, after a couple of memorable Guineas days, we're back here today at Caulfield for the running of the $2.5 million BMW Caulfield Cup. The jewel in the Melbourne Racing Club's crown attracted a record number of international entries this year, but all the talk was about a former international now trained in Melbourne. The Mark Cavanagh trained December draw was sent around one of the shortest priced Caulfield Cup favourites in many years as he strived to make it six wins from seven starts in Australia. Let's see if he justified the punter's faith. December draws in awful trouble. He's back fourth last. He surely couldn't win from there. Green Moon led around the home turn. Southern speed in the clear. Lucas Cranach coming down the outside. And then came Tullamore. 250 to go now. Green Moon with Southern speed closing on the outside. Tullamore and Lucas Cranach are wider out. Bauer getting through near the inside of the Manager. 100 metres to go. Southern speed. Southern speed burst to the front now. Raced away. And Southern speed won the Caulfield Cup. A length and a half to Green Moon. Tullamore and close up Managar the inside. It's sensational. I mean, it's really the one we wanted uh, when you go into a race with a good chance and things work right, and that is pretty important. A bit thought at the start of the campaign where you might end up because it didn't look too flash early doors this campaign, did it? Yeah, but they were in races she couldn't win anyway, uh, and as soon as she got to a mile plus, she started to show her form. She gave me a really good run throughout from a draw and it made it easy for me to sit on her and ask her late. And, and when I asked her, she really produced and won quite commanding in the end. Earlier in the day, Seapoy looked to continue his sensational spring in the Group 2 Caulfield Sprint. He didn't have too many troubles doing so. Platinum Sky cornering just over a length in front. McAvoy hasn't asked uh, Seapoy yet. They've balanced now for the run in and he releases the brakes on Seapoy and he immediately responds and went to Platinum Passion. Three lengths further back then is Midsummer Music. She's starting to finish off pretty strongly. Seapoy by two lengths, 100 to go. Katana and Midsummer Music are trying hard to get to him but he's too good for them, Seapoy, and he won it by a length and a quarter. He had everything against him. Uh, and not a lot of gain, but for us, he just showed just the true qualities that he has. He's a very, very special horse, and uh, what he's done hasn't been done by very many horses, only champion horses, and believe me, he's one of them. Uh, very happy with the way he did it. Obviously, if that grey horse was just going to lead us, we, were, we wanted to get into a spot where I could just pop off and be in a, in a, in a sort of dominating position, turn over home, and um, he did it well. Sort of Pete just left a little bit in the tank for next week, being his main or two weeks' time in his main goal. Well, that was champion Colt Sepoy winning the Caulfield Sprint. Later in the day, another crowd favourite, the gay Waterhouse trained mayor Moore Joyce, went around in the Tristark Stakes. Let's see if she got the money. Around the turn, Sister Madley's right there, and now Moore Joyce coming on down the outside. Born to Rock getting an inside run. Sister Madley goes to the lead. More Joyce coming after her. And the two favourites of the leaders with screen and response coming home. Sister Madley and More Joyce. More Joyce getting to the lead. Response coming. More Joyous. Sister Madley. More Joyous just in front. And More Joyous. A half head to Sister Madley. A great finish. He just had to settle about sixth or seventh. And the race was at a very true tempo. And he took it for about the four, four furlongs. And she just kept trekking. But of course, Sister Madley had the, had the brake on her. And it looked like it weren't going to catch her. But her true star ability, as you said, Bruce, came through. Well, that was more Joyce winning the Group 2 Tristark Stakes, taking a Caulfield record to three wins from three starts. Wraps up a fantastic BMW Caulfield Cup day, where all honours were with the South Australian Southern Speed. The carnival moves on to Mooney Valley next week, where we've got the Tats Cox Plate. Stay tuned for more racing news.